Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 19th of October 2016 and we're briefly looking at the Deutsche Bank agreement to pay $38 million in silver price fixing lawsuit. As a reminder investors claimed via a class action lawsuit filed in July 2014 that Deutsche Bank, HSBC Holdings plc and Bank of Nova Scotia rigged silver prices through a secret daily meeting called the Silver Fix and accused UBS AG of exploiting that fix. Investors claimed that the alleged conspiracy started in 1999, suppressed prices on roughly $30 billion of silver and silver financial instruments traded each year and enabled the banks to pocket returns that could exceed 100% per annum. In April 2016, Deutsche Bank had agreed to settle the lawsuit, which was widely covered at the time. The amount of compensation being offered had to be negotiated. There were quite a large number of charges which were not contested, the main three being price manipulation claims, price fixing and unlawful restraint, bid ringing and unjust enrichment. Last Monday, according to papers disclosed and filed in Manhattan Federal Court, Deutsche Bank agreed to pay $38 million to settle the case. As for the remaining two banks in the class action, HSBC and Bank of Nova Scotia, the next pre-trial conference in that lawsuit is scheduled for October the 28th, 2016. Vincent Bringatti a lawyer for the investors said the deal provides, quote, substantial monetary compensation plus cooperation from Deutsche Bank in the continued prosecution of this important case against the non-settling defendants, unquote. With regards to UBS, the judge dismissed them from the case, saying there was nothing showing it manipulated prices, even if it benefited from distortions. We wait to hear what happens. Our take on this is that manipulation between banks and amongst traders is not new. We have heard cases concerning libel rate manipulation, mis-selling of pensions and insurance, false bank account and credit card issuance, and a host of other deeds which destroys the integrity which bankers, when they first enter the profession, are taught to uphold. It is indeed a disgrace on the profession. There is no evidence to suggest, however, that these actions were carried out at the behest of governments, which many conspiracy theorists believe, but mainly for profit and greed. We do blame governments, however, for allowing legislation and watchdogs not to be sufficiently tough to rout out such offences and not punish severely enough the perpetrators. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe as a free member for regular email updates and offers. Our Facebook page, which is updated daily, can be found at Facebook.com forward slash IlluminatiSilver. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.